G'day guys, today we're out here at Mount Hope. What we're gonna do is put the iPhone 13 Pro Max up against the Samsung Galaxy S21, as well as the Huawei P40 Pro. Do all this before the Pixel 6 comes here. Oh, in the next few days, I'll show you what that's gonna do too. So what we're gonna do first is plan where we are actually shooting here. So up here behind me, I've got the edge of Mount Hope. There's another tree over here as well, and I'm going to try and see if we can use all that, all that as the subject for the photo. So we're going to use photo, just a second. There's a blue tongue lizard down here. Haven't seen a snake today, but there's a blue tongue lizard down here. I'm gonna see if I can film that. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, you little fella. Let's have a look at you. Blue tongues aren't, uh, well, they're, they're not like active like snakes are. Let's film him down there. Oh, he, <laughs> he didn't like me, I'll leave him alone. He's not gonna hurt anyone there. I'm just gonna stay out of his bloody way and we'll be fine. What we're gonna do is use photo pills. We're gonna line up this tree and line up this hill and see if it works. Photo pills is an app that is on Android and on iOS. It's about 15 bucks, but for this sort of photography, it's absolutely worth it 100% of the time. So we'll open up photo pills here, and you can see there it's using that augmented reality, using the camera in the phone to also superimpose the galactic core over this. And up the top corner there, you've got the time and the date that it's going to be. So you can see here for this sort of photo right now, above that tree, I'm looking at about 10 o'clock tonight. Now, if I look over here and look at that rocky outcrop, if I can fast forward that time or go back even, actually, when I look at that composition there with that tree at about half past nine, yeah, half past nine is probably gonna be the photo. If I'm gonna move closer to the tree over there and it's gonna make that photo, I think pretty bloody good. We're going to use this tree. We'll go a little bit closer, see if we can get a better composition. This is now the better place to compose this photo. If I turn that right where it is there and at 9.53 tonight, maybe a little bit earlier even, 9.45, 9.50, this is going to be a ripper photo. So tonight we'll come back to here and we'll use some light painting with all three different phones, the Huawei, the, P30, the P40 Pro Huawei, the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. We'll put them in the same spot here, take the same photo with each one, 30 seconds for all of them, and we'll go through how to set all those up, and we'll also do some light painting. The light painting that we're going to do, we'll put a light behind the tree to shine up behind the trunk, up and hit the tree from underneath with a bit of color, and from the front here, we'll probably use that Wuben torch, the Wuben torch that I can shine back from over here, over there, or over here on the side, to get an angle going at the tree to light it from different places. I think this will be pretty good. The ground here though is a little bit undulating and I'll probably fall over tonight sometime and break my bloody leg and we won't know. Well, you'll see if we get the video or not. Anyway, we'll come back when it's dark. Well, obviously this is dark now. The sky is clear as clear can be. It's going to be an epic photo with this tree. You're going to need, if you haven't watched this channel before, you haven't watched my stuff before, um, you're going to need a tripod. Um, what I've got here is actually what I'm testing on review at the moment. It's a KNF concept one. It's a uh, carbon fiber tripod. It's very lightweight. I think it's gonna be bloody well near perfect for mobile phone photography. Matched up with that, I've got a Ulanzi ST23 phone holder on top here. Basically, you're going to need both of those things. It doesn't have to be these two specific things, but you're going to need a tripod, you're going to need a phone holder because all these photos are gonna take about 30 seconds each. So what we're gonna do, I'll compose the photo, I'll record the screen so you can see how I compose a photo at night time with a torch. This is the other thing that we're gonna to need tonight is a torch, this is a Wuben torch. Um, doesn't matter what torch you have, as long as it's variable in brightness. And what I mean by that is it's just an LED torch. I'll turn it on there and I can increase the brightness of the torch and then it cycles back down again. The reason that's important is that we can't change the aperture on any of these phones. So we can't adjust the brightness in that regard. In fact, on the iPhone, it's pretty much a push and a push of a button and that's it. Um, so we need to be able to adjust the brightness for the light painting and we're gonna do that with the torch. So we'll use the iPhone first. We'll just put this into the phone holder. It's as simple as that, we'll just screw that down hard. 
Now, there's a little bit of light on the screen there. You can see that's just from this light here that I'm using for the video. But if that light wasn't on, and I'll turn it off in a second, when I do this, you'll see how it works. So I'll just turn this light off. You're gonna be in darkness for just a second. And I'm going to shine that torch out there at the tree. And there you can see how I'm going to compose this photo now. So it's not quite in the middle. It's not quite where I want it to be. So I'll just rotate that around a little bit. And I'm going to point it up a little bit too. So I want the tree here down the bottom, pretty much in the middle. That light, that little bright star above the tree, that's actually satin, I think it is. I'll check that in a minute. That that's quite good where it is. I'll tighten up the tripod again. And that's it. Something else we're gonna do. The tractor just drove past. It's like peak hour here at the, in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, something else we're gonna need is this light here. This is also a Ulanzi product. This is a R70 light, I think it is, RGB light. The reason I'm using this one here, and I used it in a previous video before, and it works really well, is that the brightness of this, I can in, it's, it's incremental, like in a percentage from, one, from zero to 100%. So we've really got a lot of control over the amount of light that we're going to use with this. And it's an RGB light, so we can change the color of this light. What I'm going to do with this is I'll turn it on, and we'll use that pink color. I don't know if you can see that pink color on my face there. And that's at 1%, 1%. I'll put this behind the tree, pointing up in the tree. Might add a little bit of depth to it, might not, worth trying out anyway. We'll do the iPhone first. There's really nothing to set up here. With the iPhone 13 Pro Max, they've taken out, uh, with, uh, with the uh, iOS 15, they've taken out a lot of the settings that you can do on the camera and well, to be honest, I haven't really missed them. With the 12, I, I changed a few things. With this, I didn't, I don't really need to change too much. Now, we turn on Pro Raw, it's already turned on. Uh, we're gonna touch on that star up the top there, just so it gets focus. I'm going to touch on the night mode, which is right there. Make sure it's at 30 seconds. Hit the shutter button, and that's it. While we're taking this photo though, I'm going to do some light painting. It's going to go over to this angle just here a little bit of flash on the tree that's it a little bit on the ground in front that's it i'm not going to do any more light painting than what you just saw and hopefully it's enough let's have a look nearly done one second hey <laughs> that's a ripper shot you can see that little bit of pink coming up behind there I don't mind that, I don't dislike it, but uh, that will certainly edit incredibly well. Next we'll use the S21 Ultra, and we're gonna use this in pro mode. The settings that I'm going to use is 30 seconds, so it's the same duration as the iPhone. I'm gonna use, say, ISO 1600. We'll go manual focus, just a little bit shy of infinity, and that's about all we need. We'll set it up, take a photo. All right, I've set all that up now. Exactly as I just said it, we'll set up the Huawei exactly the same as well, and we'll see how it goes. I'll turn this light off and take a photo. That's it. That's all the light painting we're doing. So the result that I've got out of the Samsung, it's the sky's awesome, I'd expect that to be the case, but I've used too much light here. Um, so that's the reason that we're using this sort of torch is that it's, a, it's a adjustable. So I'll just cycle it down. I'll use this brightness now, and I'll take that photo again. Light painting's finished while we're waiting for that. If you're into this sort of thing, uh, this sort of mobile photography, and you want to do some pretty cool stuff, because we do some bloody sensational stuff here on this channel here, and where I live, we just have sensational skies, so we can take some bloody good photos of the stars with our phones. If you're into that sort of thing, and you want to learn more about that sort of thing, subscribe to the channel. Definitely worth doing. It's uh, I do two videos each and every week, all about this sort of stuff. And if you have subscribed, you're a bloody legend. If you want to support the channel, well, down the bottom here somewhere, there's a join link and you can join this channel become a member on this channel and basically it's going to cost you about six bucks a month or 15 bucks a month depending on what you want out of it um, you're going to get all the presets over there on phonephotoschool.com.au for free that's about 30 odd dollars worth of presets over there and you're going to get them for that amount of money and uh, you also go into the draw for everything that i give away during my live sessions you're going to go in the draw automatically you don't need to be there just be, just from being a member your name will go into the draw anyway so it's definitely worth doing that. You get some cool behind the scenes stuff. And I also release some of the videos that I do a little bit earlier for you guys. 
look, that's, that's well and truly finished now. Let's go and check it out. Heaps better, really good photo. Between that and the uh, iPhone, there's probably not much in it. Let's put the Huawei on and then we're going to su do the exact same settings. That's 30 seconds, ISO, 1600, manual focus, a little bit off infinity. Uh, what else? That's about it. White balance will change on that as well. Oh, no, we don't even change that. We'll just leave it the same setting as what this one was. So we've got exactly the same thing going with those two phones. So what I neglected to tell you is that I also shot RAW with the Samsung. So when I edit these a little bit later, um, that'll make sense to you that I'm editing two RAW photos, one from the iPhone, one from the Samsung. With the Huawei though, I don't. Mainly because of the color profiling doesn't go across to Adobe because of the whole American Chinese thing. Um, so I just shoot raw, uh, shoot, shoot uh, JPEGs with the Huawei, and that's just what we're gonna have to live with. That's it. Anyway, I've set all that up. I'm going to light paint exactly like I did before. Wait around, I'll show you what it looks like. I've just finished doing that light painting. It's got about, about halfway, it's got about 15 seconds to go. It is a bloody awesome night, sensational night. There's not a cloud in the sky, it's not hot, it's not cold. It's just, it's friggin' Goldilocks right now. Over there on the Facebook group, Bloody Legends Facebook group. If, you, if you're on Facebook and you want to join that group, it's a ripper photography group, Shane Moston Mobile Photography, Bloody Legends. Uh, link is down the bottom there. If you want to join, join. It's, uh, it's a really good photography group. Make sure you answer all the questions when you join. Um, and, and a lot of guys over there, they say, oh, I wish I had skies like you. And I'll tell you what, I wish you did too, because where I live, it's just it's bloody magnificent. Absolutely love it. Yeah, you know, it's finished. Let's check it out. So the Huawei actually did a pretty good job. I think the big strength though with the Huawei is it shoots better on ultra wide than any other phone that I've tested here on this channel. I'm just gonna take another one quickly with the ultra wide and then we're gonna get back inside. I'll edit these up and I'll show you what they look like. Pretty excited, I've got three really good photos out of three really good phones. All three of those phones took some sensational photos. That ultra wide on the Huawei, mind blowing. To be able to do that, that sort of field of view with no external lenses on the phone, that's pretty bloody good. Look, what we'll do, we'll have a look at, say, one of the um, iPhone photos in Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, so we can go across either the Samsung or the uh, iPhone. All three photos here, I would edit exactly the same way. And if you want the unedited versions of this, I'll put them over there on phonephotoschool.com.au and you can download them, see for yourself how good these things are. So this is the photo now um, from uh, the iPhone. And what we'll do, we'll go in, if you hit the auto button, the auto button with astrophotography generally doesn't do much at all. So we'll go back on that and we'll go into light. And in light, we'll increase the contrast. As I'm doing these, I'm looking at two things in particular. I'm looking at the tree in the foreground and how much detail is in that. And I'm also looking at the star, the galactic scar, the, the, the galactic core, the stars in the sky to see what we're doing here affects that. So there's the contrast. I'm not going to do anything with the exposure. I might see what these shadows do increasing there. And it tends to get rid of a little bit of the vignetting that comes naturally with the iPhone. So I think we'll, we'll leave it way up there with that. We'll try the blacks as well. Slight increase on the blacks. Uh, we'll go across to color. I'm going to increase the vibrance because we've got a lot of color in that tree there. I think that's pretty bloody good. Next, we'll go across to the effects tab and in the dehazing, the dehazing tool in Lightroom is the number one reason I go to Lightroom for editing astrophotography photos. So we'll increase the dehazing, increase the clarity just that little bit. I'm quite happy with that. What I'll do now, I'll do a selective edit over on the left hand side, selective edit, hit the plus, hit the elliptical tool and I'm going to add an elliptical tool over the top of that galactic core. And once it's there, we're going to go to details and increase the clarity just to about there. And I'm happy with that, hit the tick. As far as I'm concerned, I'm good to go. I quite like that. If anything, I'd probably add a little bit of a um, another selective tool, a gradient tool down the bottom, only down the bottom, just to decrease. It's a little bit blown out there. I'll probably use the torch just a little bit too much there. Decrease that just a little bit with the exposure. Yeah, it's good. Happy with that. And then we export that. We're good to go. And all of these photos, like I said, you can find them over there on phonephotoschool.com.au. Um, 
Let me know which ones you think are better there. Here's all three of the photos. Um, I think the iPhone absolutely has it over all these other phones when it comes to that tree and how much detail is in that tree. Um, the stars though, the stars, I'm probably gonna give that to the Samsung still. And the Huawei, I've started to notice a few things with the Huawei, we've gotten stunning a few pixels there. So that might end up being a return to sender sort of job, um, get them, getting them to fix it, but we'll see how we go. Um, so in my honest opinion, how easy it is with the iPhone, I think it's got it over the Samsung in general terms of astrophotography. Let me know what your thoughts are. Put a comment down the bottom, let me know. All right guys, well, that's it for today. I'll see you next week. Catch you later.